Yoshikawa was the Japanese Imperial Navy's expert on the U.S. Pacific Fleet. He came here posing as a low-level diplomat. He arrived by ship on the 27th of March, 1941. He took his job and he stayed at the consulate itself in Nu'uanu Valley here just above downtown Honolulu. He was given $600. That was his budget for his espionage activities here on the island. Even though he only had that much money, Nagaokita, the consul general said, don't worry, we'll help. Nobody but Nagaokita knew his real mission here on the island. Every day he would make his way down to Pearl Harbor to see what he could see. Sometimes he would rent light aircraft and take sightseeing tours over the island of Oahu, not only looking in the direction of Pearl Harbor as he made his approach to land, but he could easily see what was available and what was being done in our military installations all over Oahu. Sometimes he would make his way up to a, a place where there was a Japanese tea house. In 1941, it was called Sunsho Road. Today, it still exists. It's called Natsunoya Tea House. He would enjoy the company of geishas and good Japanese food that he missed from Japan. He would sometimes feign being drunk. That way, the mama-san said, don't worry, you can stay here overnight. And he would to observe Pearl Harbor from his perch high in the hills above. A customer named Yoshikawa used to come here during the day for tea or beer. When he was tired, my grandmother let him sleep in the upstairs room where we had a telescope. Unbeknownst to us, he was watching the ship movements to and from Pearl Harbor. 